This is a very special occasion. And joining Lonnie and Alex in the union of marriage. Alex, you may receive your bride and bring her forward. And the two of you had separate paths that led you to this very moment. So it's individual experiences, Alex, that has made you the man that you are, standing here before Lonnie. And Lonnie, it's your individual experiences that have made you the woman that you are here today, standing alongside Alex. And if there's a few things throughout your journey in marriage that I hope would carry along its way. It would be for the two of you to have the ability from the heart to listen, learn, and love. Listen to one another, what it is that they have to offer and what makes them feel whole and part of this relationship. And secondly, the ability to learn. Learn what it takes to help the other fulfill every desire every dream, every goal that they may have. And lastly, the ability to love, to love unconditionally, which means no strings attached. It's an ongoing love. And this is the type of love that I hope the two of you wish to express to one another each and every day. So with that said, Alex, I'll ask, ask you first. With your presence here today, alongside Lonnie. Do you take her as your wife in promising to love, honor, cherish, and respect in her always, allowing nothing or no one to come between the two of you? Do you take her as your wife? Yes, I do. Thank you, sir. Lonnie, I'll ask you the same. With your presence here today, alongside Alex, do you take him as your husband in promising to love, honor, cherish, and respecting him always, allowing nothing or no one to come between the two of you? Do you take him as your husband? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Now if I can have your bouquet, please. I'll have you guys turn and face each other and take each other's hands. Now, Looking into each other's eyes, you will see the very reason why you are here today. Proving that there is no one more important than who stands before you. So with that said, Alex, I'll have you go first and repeating your vows after me. I, Alex, take you, Lonnie. I, Alex, take you, Lonnie. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will be there for you. I'll be there for you. Through good times and bad times. Through good times and bad times. Whether we are rich or poor. Whether we are rich or poor. Through laughter and tears. Through laughter and tears. I will love and cherish you. I love and cherish you. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Thank you. Now Lonnie looking into his eyes. There's a few words that I know that you would like to express. Alex, so at this time? Yeah, you can put a big tap. Okay, thank you, sir. Now looking into his eyes, I'll have you repeat your vows after me. I, Lonnie, take you, Alex. I, Lonnie, take you, Alex. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will stand beside you. I will stand beside you. Through success or misfortune. Through success and misfortune. Through the joys and sorrows of life. Through the joys and sorrows in of life. In your life. Yes. In sickness in and sick, in health. In sickness and in health. Through laughter and tears. Through laughter and tears. I will love and cherish you. I will love and cherish you. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Thank you. And I know there's a few words you'd like to express to yourself. Thank you. 
And at this time, may I have the rings, please? Thank you, sir. Now, these rings are not only tokens, but they're symbols of the very love and devotion that the two of you are expressing here today. And my hope is that each and every day, wearing these rings may remind you of exactly that promise and that pledge. And in time, these rings may lose beauty, but I hope that you have value and take honor in wearing these rings for what they truly represent. And through your friends and family, the beauty will shine through you both. And the two of you will be a wonderful example to all. So Alex, I see you take her ring, and if you could please place it upon her ring finger. Oops. <laughs> You're very welcome. Place it upon her ring finger, and repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving husband. To be your faithful and loving husband. And I feel so honored. And I feel so honored. To call you my wife. To call you my wife. Thank you, sir. Lana, if you could place that up on his ring finger. And if you could please repeat. With this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving wife. To be your faithful and loving wife. And I feel so honored. And I feel so honored. To call you my husband. You're okay? Thank you. Now, Lonnie and Alex, if you love somebody, you'll be loyal to them no matter what the cost. You will always stand beside them. You will always trust them. And you will stand your ground in defending them no matter what. Now, there's a saying that I like to leave with the two of you. And it says, don't walk in front of me. I may not follow. Don't walk behind me. I may not lead, but walk beside me as a friend. Because after all, that's what the two of you will be building together. A deeper, richer, stronger friendship built upon the foundation, your relationship that you already have. So it certainly is a joy to be part of the celebration. And I'd also hope that the two of you would not only love each other for who they are, but for what they are helping to make of you. So the 28th of September, a day that will now mark your anniversary. Therefore, with the power vested in me by the state of Nevada, it is my honor and my privilege to now be able to pronounce you as husband and wife. Alex, you will now kiss your wife, sir. Mm -hmm. I'll have you turn your face to the photographer. I'd like to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Hoyt, the newlyweds. Congratulations to you. Alex, you may now walk your wife down the aisle. <laughs> 